everyone, Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Galaxies. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So I have been out here on the outskirts of Moss Eisley grinding out all of the weapons experience that we need to work through our progression. And as you can see, we just... Uh-oh, I missed. Wait, wait, wait. Um... We just qualified for our last level for rifles, so we are making good progress on this. I've already got pistols all the way up through level 4. I haven't touched carbines yet, and initially my intention for this episode today had been to, um, to try to work our way all the way up to Novice Bounty Hunter. Unfortunately, I was looking at the progression of things that we need. And while I don't think this will be too hard to finish off, and we don't, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything specifically needed for Master. We go over here to Bounty Hunter, and we need 40,000 points of combat experience. And that is going to be an awful lot of experience that is going to be needed out in the world. Whoops, let's go Ooh, ahead and turn... Close that. There we go. Let's take care of that. And there we go. All right. So we are making good progress. Obviously, we got all of this still to do. What I had initially intended for today was to try to finish that off, but I don't want to just keep running missions and grinding out around here. I would like to do something a little bit more interesting. And I, um, I've been trying to find like a nice set of quests or maybe a dungeon to visit that would make make it a little bit more interesting to grind out the experience that we need and I have one that I have found but I want to actually test it out to make sure that it's actually going to work I was playing around a little bit with one of my other characters and it, um, it it seems like the the first quest I was looking at might be broken. It actually comes from what we are looking at right now, which is the Lucky Despot Cantina. Um, the name actually doesn't show up on the map, but it is this starship that has crashed right here in Moss Isley that has been repurposed into a cantina, a casino of sorts and there there's a line of quests that go through there um but i i want to i want to check it out because like i said i was trying it with one of my other characters and it seems like it might be broken i was having trouble getting off the first couple of missions so what we're going to do for this episode today is we're going to go and see some of the sites of tatooine there is so so much to see in all of these different worlds. This is this is the uh, this is the interior of this casino, cantina, whatever it is. Um, there actually are um, casino games you can play. If we come in here, uh, let's see here. Well, maybe there are games we can play. Apparently not. Apparently that's broken. Maybe this whole thing is broken. But there's a lot that we can go see. There are some things that are um, on the maps for for us to go and seek out. And then there are some things that you just kind of stumble across. One of them, there is actually a broken down sand crawler um, just south of Moss Isley. So I thought maybe we would go and check that out first. So let's actually go ahead and pull our speeder out here. And we'll start working our way out of the city, because I, I think it's really cool to see. And then we will go out into the world here and explore some other things. And I, and I, I think it's also really interesting just to kind of look around when you are in the various different cities and see all the things that are around the different buildings, the droids, the people that inhabit this world. Really, really cool just to kind of explore. And, you know, Tatooine is this desert world, but it's nice to think, you know, there's a little bit of oasis and moisture farming is a, is a, is a big thing on Tatooine and using that to get water is, uh, is um, you know, the way that many people on this world make their living. 
if we pull up our world map here, so we have this thing that is these points of interest, and they show up as these um, yellow um, um, waypoints on here. And there's a decent amount of them. And if you look here, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things. Now, some of them, we can't quite get close enough. Fort Tuscan, in order to get that, you actually have to enter the fort. And um, there, is, uh, th th there is no way that we will actually be able to get in there because Tuscans are nasty creatures. I'm trying to find... There's a, there's a sand crawler out here somewhere, but I'm, I don't remember exactly where it is. But I think what we're going to do for today is we're going to go around and we're going to explore some of these things. So it doesn't look like there is anything overly close. So I think maybe the first thing we'll do is we'll go over and see the Dark Lighter Estate. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. And we may go over into Anchorhead and, and, um, and just take a shuttle over there so that we can travel around a little bit faster. But I really want to try to find this sand crawler. So let's see if we can find that somewhere in these mountains here. There it is. Yes, yeah, so this is this is a <laughs> sand crawler that has either broken down or been attacked. Um, Jawas and Tusken Raiders tend to be enemies, and so maybe this was a sand crawler that was attacked by Tuskens. It looks like looks like there's been some damage here. Um, and this thing has definitely seen better days. I believe that there are other sand crawlers. Um, on the planet that you can actually go into. So maybe we will stumble across one of those in our travels. But I think for now we are going to head over to Anchorhead and go check out the Dark Lighter Estate. Welcome to Anchorhead, a small little town here on Tatooine. Mostly left alone, a little bit of a rebel presence here, but this is going to be the jumping off point for our explorations because there are a number of points of interest in this part of the world. So as I said, we're going to head out to the Dark Lighter Estate first, and then we will visit um, some places that are a little bit more recognizable um, from the fr from the Star Wars lore. So you could probably see all the waypoints of that are on the side over there. You, I'm sure there are probably some names that you recognize. So these will be some interesting things to see. Let's get going. So we are now coming into view of the Dark Lighter Estate. Biggs Dark Lighter was one of Luke Skywalker's best friends on Tatooine, and they actually fought together in the Battle of Yavin with the first Death Star where Biggs was killed. Biggs actually had a younger brother, Gavin, who would later go on to join the famous Rogue Squadron. So, this is the estate. Let's hop out and explore. And there's actually a whole series of quests here that we will come back and do sometime in the future. It's a little beyond the level um, that we are at right now. But... It'll it'll definitely be something we can we can take on in the future. I thought that we would get a uh, an exploration badge for coming here. Not I think not all of the the points of interest have an exploration badge. Maybe we actually need to go inside. So let's see what happens. Of dark later the. Patriarch of the family. Doesn't look like there's much here, and doesn't look like we're going to get any any kind of badge for exploring here. So I think that will do it for this area. So the next place that we are going to head out to is the Lars Homestead, and I'm guessing that that probably doesn't need any introduction, so we will head there. 
So here we are at the Lars Homestead, the home of Owen and Beru Lars, the childhood home of Luke Skywalker. I don't think we can actually go in anywhere. And then I believe this is the graveyard. And there we've received our badge for exploring here. Not much to see, but definitely an iconic place in Star Wars lore. So, moving on from here, there's an escape pod that has crashed not far from here. I wonder what that could be all about. After having stopped paying attention as I was going about my business, um, got attacked by creatures that I accidentally drove through, came across this, and apparently there's just a maze out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Don't know why this is here. It doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Uh, but it's kind of cool to discover something like this and get completely lost. <laughs> doesn't look like we can get out that way. Going this way, perhaps? I can see the exit over there. There it is. Hey, we made it. <laughs> Very random. And one of the cool little things that you can find. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. And I'm in trouble. Whew. <laughs> this, is what, this is what I get for turning my map off. Hostile creatures trying to kill me. Okay. Continuing our journeys. So here we are in the middle of another dust storm. But a crashed escape pod. And I have noticed a heightened Imperial presence around here. This, of course, is the escape pod that R2-D2 and C-3PO used to attempt to deliver the Death Star plans to Obi-Wan Kenobi. So we're going to take a bit of a detour from here and go see an ancient crate dragon skeleton. Crate dragons are fearsome creatures that live here on Tatooine. They are massive beings um, that are often hunted um, for fun and for the pearls that they have. So we're going to go and we're going to see if we can avoid the dangerous creatures. We are going to see the uh, skeleton of an ancient crate dragon. We may have a little trouble getting to this because we have actual crate dragon. And if we pull this up and we look at this thing, yeah. Uh, is that 320,000 health points? Yeah, we're going to avoid those like the plague. <laughs> but let's see if we can get in, sneak our way around them, and hopefully get a look at the skeleton and here it is I think we're just gonna fly by unless I have to get out to get the badge looks like we might have to get out to get the badge but yes here is there it is Famed Greater Crate Dragon. Yeah, we are uh, we we are not going to uh, take these creatures on ever, <laughs> unless I get a big group together and we come hunting. All right, next we are going to head to Ben Kenobi's house. So here we are at Ben Kenobi's house, otherwise known as Obi Wan Kenobi. This is where he hid out to watch over Luke Skywalker after he went into exile. 
apparently we can't go in here. We can, we can uh, stand in the doorway and look around, but it doesn't look like we're actually going in. A simple home... ...for one of the greatest Jedi who ever lived. We are coming up now on the Great Pit of Carcoon, otherwise known as a Sarlacc. This is the... <laughs> this is the creature that um, Jabba tried to have um, Han and Luke dropped into uh, <laughs> to be dealt with that ultimately um, Boba Fett fell into but would survive. Um, yeah, definitely a dangerous place to be but an interesting thing to see nonetheless. And we have now collected five badges. So we are making our way through our progression. I forget where... Are those on the character sheet? Yeah. So, these are the things we have done so far. Let's make sure we're not going through anything hostile. And then, of course, we have all of the badges that we still have to get. And as you can see, there are, there are quite a lot of them. Um, but we will... Um, we will make our way through as many of these as we can. I don't know if we're going to work through all the professions, but we will see what we can accomplish. So, we are on our way to Jabba's Palace, which is uh, the home of another set of quests that we will be able to do at some point in the future. But we are going to go and take a look at that. And, oh yeah, that apparently was a dangerous place to go. I have been, my health has been knocked down quite a bit. <laughs> So here we are arriving at Jabba's Palace. This is going to be a race against time uh, because I am d diseased by having visited that great pit of Carcoon and I don't seem to be recovering from it. And I don't know if I'm going to um, as my health bar just keeps getting worse and worse. And if you look up, you can see Imperial Star Destroyers in orbit above us. But here is Java's Palace. I don't know if we'll be able to go in or not. If we can, we will. Um, and as I said, there's a series of quests here that we will do sometime in the future. But we'll see if we can get in. I don't know if we'll be able to get close enough to get the exploration badge here. But they've usually been pretty good if you come through there. Maybe not. It does look like it's opening. But I feel like maybe you can only go so far. Yeah, it looks like we can only go so far. Um, so we will, we will get to see more of the interior of this later once we actually come back and do these quests. Hopefully I can just duck under the door. All right, we need to get to Wayfar. See if I can get to a hospital and hopefully get healed up. So, <laughs> we shall see. Either we will make it or we will die and then we'll figure things out from there. But either way, we're gonna get this disease taken care of. So the good news is the disease will not kill me. It will only bring me down to one. The bad news is that unless I can find a doctor to heal it, I don't think there's any way to get over it. I don't know if it will ever go away naturally. As I'm looking at this, it says that I need a doctor to use cure disease medicine. So I guess that we're going to just keep exploring and hope that it goes away. Um, I'm getting healed up here a little bit in the medical center here in Wayfar, but it doesn't take long before I get knocked right back down. So, I guess we're going to head out, and as I've been looking around, there's no shuttle port in Wayfar, which means we are going to have to travel either to Anchorhead, or I wonder if um, I wonder if this player city, Casablanca, has a shuttle port. Sometimes they do. 
Let's see. Ah, there is one. Okay, that looks a little closer than Anchorhead. Because the next area that we're going to be going to is um, up in the northern part of the map. So we have the Jawa Traders. We have Fort Tuscan. Which, as I was scrolling through the badges, I saw it has visited the pool under Fort Tuscan, which we're not even getting close, so I'm not sure if we will actually go to that or not. It might be cool to see if we have time. Um, and if there's a shuttle port in a mirage. Looks like there is. So it looks like we should be able to get around to some of those a little bit easier. But I think I need to head back to a major city and see if I can get this disease taken care of. So... I'm going to get back to some place uh, where we can get this dealt with, and then we will continue our explorations. So we are arriving at our little Jawa trading camp. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm still diseased. I realized that um, my, uh, my, my plan to, to go and get healed up and travel around um, is kind of lacking one thing. And that would be money. We have 80 credits to our name. A simple travel ticket costs 100 uh, credits. So I think what we are going to do is we're going to kind of explore this little trading outpost here very briefly. Then we're going to move on to Fort Tuscan. And uh, we're, we're, we're going to make a frontal assault on Fort Tuscan. And that, that should fix a lot of problems really quickly. <laughs> So yeah, so here's our little Jawa trading camp. It looks like we don't actually get um, anything, any badge for doing this. But we have a Jawa trader here, and I wonder... I do not understand what the Jawa is saying. Oh, well, I thought maybe we were going to be able to converse with the Jawa. But apparently not. Maybe if we go over here... Where did I see... Oh, over by this... So I'm wondering, there are there are junk dealers. Um, it doesn't look like I can communicate with any of these beings. Can we go in? No, we cannot go in. But yeah, if I have any anything that I have picked up here that we might be able to sell for junk, like this dud firework that we got, um, might be able to make us a little bit of money. But I don't see any Jawas that it looks like we can trade with. How about this guy? Can we converse? I do not understand what the Jawa is saying. So apparently we need to learn the Jawa language. I don't know how we do that. Um, yes. All right. So this is the Jawa outpost. And yeah, that that's about all we got. So I think we are going to head on to Fort Tuscan. Now just over the horizon, we see the outline of Fort Tuscan, probably one of the deadliest places on Tatooine. And we're just about to run in there like it's no big deal, right? Right. This is not going to end well, but that is the intention. <laughs> so I think maybe we will... Let's see. Looks like the entrance is on the far side. So I think what we will do is we will kind of skirt the outsides. Yeah, look at all the red there. <laughs> yeah, these are these are nasty creatures that are not going to be kind to us. I'm reasonably sure these ones that are right here are underground. Um, this is this is one of the I guess dungeons you would call it that we can explore. Um, and we may do later, we may not. I don't know. We shall see. We are certainly not in any kind of um, state to be able to take this on. Certainly certainly not with my health where it is right now. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we'll, get a, maybe we'll get a raiding party together in the future and take it down. So I have no idea how close we're going to be able to get. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just abandon our speeder here. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, we, we shall see. But we shall see. This is not going to end well. <laughs> yep, they're already after me. We'll, we'll take a few shots. Yep. <laughs> that, that, that didn't take long. All right, we're going to go to our pre-designated facility. And we're going to end up back in Moss Eisley. Yeah, and stuff has decayed, but that's all right. All right, well, we still have 799 out of 800 wounds. 
Um, our battle fatigue is very, very high. On the bright side, we're no longer diseased, so I'm going to go hang out in the medical center for a little bit, Let at least recharge some of my um, my health, see if I can't maybe work up a little bit more money to be able to travel around a little bit quicker, and then we will get on with this episode. So a considerable amount of time later, I have healed up. I got a little bit of money um, just from d dispatching a few unsavory characters <laughs> around Moss Eisley and raiding them for all the credits that they had on them. And we are now over here trying to make our way into the Crate Graveyard, which I think is going to be easier said than done. But we're going to see if we can avoid some of these nasty little creatures here and explore the crate graveyard as you can see there are definitely some bones here of some <laughs> large creatures <laughs> and there are <laughs> actual creatures around here I think let's go see if we can hit the exact point of interest and maybe we'll get the exploration badge for that I don't know why the little beacon beam that you get is not appearing on screen. But if we come fairly close... Hmm... Doesn't seem like we are getting it. I don't know exactly where you need to get to. So maybe let's go a little bit farther in and we will see. I know this is one of the, the badges that you can get. But I also realize that the farther in here we get, the less likely it is that we will be leaving again. Um, yeah, but it is, is very cool to come out and see these massive creatures out here. We're going to swing around this way and see if we can avoid them. I don't know how close or how far away... Uh, I thought that one was turning towards me. <laughs> I suspect that they can probably outrun me, um, even in our shuttle here, but yeah, very, very cool to see this. There's a lot more back here, so I wonder, maybe, maybe being back here, we will find the, we'll find the exploration badge. Yeah, look at all of this here. don't know where we have to go to get that badge. But I don't want to get too close to anything. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. That guy's right there. <laughs> uh, looks like we're not going to trigger it, which is kind of unfortunate because this is a cool place to see. But it's not overly difficult to get to. So I guess we'll call that good. So here we are at the old Moss Espa Arena track. You might know it by another name or more of the, the classic race that was run here, and that would be the Bunta Eve Pod Race famous um, for being won by Anakin Skywalker when he was just eight years old, the only human to ever win the race. And we actually have the ability to run this race ourselves, or at least run the course ourselves. And so that is what we are going to do. And hopefully it doesn't cost anything. The race coordinator for the Old Moss Espa Circuit. If you'd like to race the track, just let me know. How may I serve you? Uh, tell me about this track. The information in my databanks are accurate. During the last decades of the Old Republic, pod races were run on this track. The series was formed and controlled by the Huts many years ago. Following the decline of pod racing's popularity, this track was more or less abandoned by the Huts. It was eventually taken over by a small band of swoop racers who used it to stage regular series of semi-legitimate races. How do I race? 
series of waypoints will appear one after another, and to each waypoint as quickly as possible. When you arrive back here, talk to me again, and I'll register your last time for this track. I'd like to give this track a try. That's the spirit. Just say go when you want me to begin the timer. Good luck, and may the force be with you. Three, two, one, go. All right, and we are off. We're going to be following that white beam that's on the side over there. Unfortunately, the arrow is not popping up on screen, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I will try to remember to watch my radar <laughs> so that uh, anything unsavory uh, doesn't come after us. There have been known to be Tuscans on the track, so we're going to be a little bit careful about that. I'm going to go over here to my radar and bump that out a little bit, and this will <laughs> allow us to be able to steer clear of everything, hopefully. So I don't remember exactly how many waypoints there are, and I feel like this does take a little while, so I may speed it up um, just so that it's a little bit more interesting. So that's leg one of 15, and it took a minute. If they're all this length, it's going to take 15 minutes. So I think we're probably going to go ahead and speed this up so it's a little more interesting to watch. Here we are coming into the finish line, and we will have completed the old Moss Espa racetrack. And I think we've got that. And look at that! So we got a badge for completing the racetrack, the fastest time for this track, which is, this must be my fastest time, because I, I cannot imagine that that was the... Um, <laughs> the fastest time ever. Let's see here. I'd like to see who holds the current record for this track. Let's see. Yeah, apparently that's us. I don't know if this is a daily thing. I know that one of the badges was held the fastest time for the day on this track. Um, I do apologize. Apparently there was a little bit of bugginess. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Um... I don't, I don't know why everything was done up like that. That was definitely kind of weird with the, the, the nose of the speeder pointing up in the air. Um, I tried a couple of things, and there was nothing that I could do to, um, to fix that. So, yeah, but that was kind of fun. Um, definitely a little bit slow. I think we can come back, and I, I think we can get a better time. I'm kind of curious to what this building is over here. I liked how, as we were traveling through, that there is just a randomly a player city in the middle of the racetrack. I thought that was kind of interesting, but all kinds of cool things. Really neat to see, um, you know, what is here in the world. And I'm, I, like I said, I'm a little curious as to what this building is. Looks like maybe it used to be like a, a lounge for people watching pod races and things. I wonder if we can get up to the top here. This is not the easiest thing to navigate. Yeah! There's a nice little balcony out here overlooking the racetrack. So I think that is going to do it for today. 
apparently I'm not going to, <laughs> to face that way. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. A little bit different, a little bit of exploring and seeing some really cool things that the world has to offer. So I think next time we're going to go ahead and see if we can't finish off our novice marksman profession. And we're not our novice marksman, just our marksman profession. Um, yeah, and then we're going to move on to a new planet after that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to follow me on social media. And thanks for watching. See you real soon, and may the Force be with you.